Hi, it's me, I'm Leah. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are cooking Spanish omelette. It's a super typical dish that I'm sure that anyone who has traveled to Spain has tried. So, if you want to learn how to make it, I'll show you. To prepare a Spanish omelette, the first thing we have to do is peel the potatoes. The number of potatoes to use depends on how big you want the omelette. I will be using one big potato and one medium potato. The number of potatoes you use will also depend on whether you'll be using onion or not. Okay, so once the potato is peeled, we are going to take the first layer of the onion and chop it in half. We should slice the onion as thinly as possible because that way, when cooking in the olive oil, it will caramelize and it will add some sweetness into the omelette. Here in Spain, we have an eternal debate on whether the Spanish omelette has onion or not. In my opinion, with onion, taste is better and it's more moist, so I will be using onion as well, but for sure, by all means, do it without onion, if you prefer it that way. Once the onion is all chopped, we have to do the same thing with the potato. I like to slice it as thinly as possible as well, but there is no right or wrong way to do it, so you can cube it or cut it in bigger chunks. We should prepare a non-sticking pan and fill it with an abundant quantity of olive oil. I use extra virgin, but any kind of olive oil will do. So, once the oil is hot, we will add the potatoes and the onion. And then we'll turn down the temperature to a medium heat and let it cook for about 25 minutes. It should be heated so that it is hot but not boiling because we are not aiming to fry the potatoes and the onion but to somewhat caramelize it. We'll be also using the lid, so the steam helps soften the veggies easier. There are as many ways to make a Spanish omelette as people in Spain. Everyone does it differently. Some do it with potatoes, some do it with potatoes and onion, some like the egg runnier, some like it more cooked through. So it depends on you. I'm showing the way I like Spanish omelette. Also, if you do it differently, let me know in the comments down below. Now we will crack some eggs and put them on a bowl. The number of eggs depends on the quantity of the potatoes. For this, I'll be using four, but if you like the omelette runnier, you can use five. If you like it more firm, you can use three. We will also season the eggs with some salt. Once we have all the eggs in the bowl, we will whisk them, making sure they are evenly incorporated. Then we will drain the cooked potatoes and onions and add them to the egg, making sure not too much of the cooking oil goes inside the egg.
Once we have transferred all the potatoes and the onion, we will whisk it again so that it is well incorporated. Then, on a different non-sticking pan, we will add some of the cooking oil we used before. If you didn't use olive oil at that point, now it's a good time to use it. And once we've made sure that the olive oil is hot, we will add the potato and egg mixture into the pan. First, we will let it cook on one side for about five minutes, making sure that the egg isn't runny, and then we'll flip it. To flip it, use a dish or a lid that is bigger in diameter than the pan. Then place the Spanish omelette again on the pan to cook it on the other side for about 5 minutes more. The cooking time, again, depends on how runnier you want the omelette. I like it cooked through so I tend to have it more, but if you like it runnier, maybe with two to three minutes on the second side will be enough. Then remove the pan from the stove and transfer the omelette into a plate. And voila, you have it. So here you have it. This is how I do a Spanish omelette. If you dare to try it, let me know and tag me on social media. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. As always, the exact measurements will be linked in the box down below and in my blog. Until next time, and remember, put some Mediterranean flavor in your lives.